everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I try to relate those to our everyday lives. So we got a good story today. Come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Well, welcome back, everyone, to the podcast. Thank you all so much for coming back for another episode. You know, if you've been with me for at least two years, you've heard me say my favorite stories to do are the positive, uplifting stories about the women. Um, That gives me joy as a podcaster. You know, a lot of times when you and I connect because the podcast is about life and the view is our Trojan horse, we're we're analyzing some behavior on the show, some communication slip, and we're trying to to look at it as life class and glean from it and make applicable things to our our own lives. But Uh, And I I enjoy that. And so many of you do, too. And you get value from those conversations. But what we're going to talk about today is an example of one of my favorite things to talk about. So as you know, today was Whoopi Goldberg's birthday. And well, actually, her birthday is tomorrow, Saturday. But they were celebrating her today on the show. And one of the hallmarks of celebrating Whoopi's birthday on The View is that, you know, very often she's giving away her favorite things to the audience, you know, to people in the audience. And and she has things uh, in her, you know, favorites for children. And I will just say that a lot of uh, viewers to the show um, know how many people have talked about how loving and giving Whoopi is, how she'll just give you things, give you shoes, give people things. And But uh, what I think a lot of viewers don't know is that this is truly just who Whoopi is. And she's been this way since forever, way before she came to The View. So let me share two stories with you. One of my favorite people in Hollywood is Miss Jennifer Lewis. And recently I was listening to her memoir on Audible uh, titled The Mother of Black Hollywood. Uh, So titled because in many of her roles, she plays the mother of some, uh, you know, famous uh, black actor. And of course, Jennifer Lewis is black, for those of you who may not know. For instance, right now, she plays Anthony Anderson's mom on Blackish, and she may be doing a, a number of things right now. Well, in this memoir on Audible, which she narrates, and it's one of the most entertaining audiobooks I've listened to up to date, to date, she talks about her friendship with Whoopi that has spanned decades. And she shared two stories about how Whoopi in her time of need unexpectedly was there for her. One time giving her $2,000 cash and Jennifer wasn't expecting it. One time surprising her with a sofa. And so I want to share these with you because I want all of us to understand that, you know, This show is not just about politics and pop culture. These women, many of them, have truly lived wonderful lives and are living wonderful lives and really being a blessing and a help to those who they love. So I'm going to play these two clips from Jennifer's audiobook, and I will tell you, of course, it is a book for adults. And so there is some adult language and I will be sure to bleep certain things out But let's listen to Jennifer tell us and share with us these two stories. Now, I won't be back after these clips. I'm going to let them play. I want you to enjoy with me hearing how even back in the 80s, Whoopi Goldberg was just as loving and kind as she is at 66 years of age. So guys, enjoy these stories and I will talk to you on the next podcast. Of my characters from Diva to their comedy sketch show. My contributions to In Living Color were Snooky. Who's a woman got to sleep with to get something to eat? And Mrs. Sheridan. That just proves my point. The Wayne brothers had left by then, so unfortunately I didn't get to work with any of them. But Jim Carrey, Jamie Foxx, and Takiya Crystal Kama were still there, and we had a blast. I had steady work as a regular on a different world and was filming Poetic Justice. I also had a small part in Robert Townsend's Meteor Man and rejoined Whoopi as her backup singer in Sister Act Two. 
Whoopi was in the middle of doing The Whoopi Goldberg Show, a late night talk show that ran for about a year. She called me. Come on down to the studio and hang out. When I pulled up to the studio, Eartha Kitt was leaving and Patti LaBelle was pulling up in a Rolls Royce. Now, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and imagine. Eartha Kitt, Patti LaBelle, and Jennifer Lewis occupying the same space. <laughs> when Patti saw me, she said to Whoopi, Ain't she the dean? It was a lovely day. Whoopi got married on October 1st, 1986. The celebs poured in. Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, Richard Pryor, Mark Hamill, Ray Liotta, John Voight, and certainly, most impressively, Jennifer Lewis. I went upstairs and zipped Whoopi into her pretty dress. And we had a good laugh that she had had the words, fuck you, spelled out on her rooftop for the paparazzi. Whoopi has always had my best interest at heart. I've been lucky for the most part in terms of the quality of my friendships. I believe the company you keep is incredibly important. I have surrounded myself with loving, giving people. And of course, they had to be smart and talented. One morning, I went to Whoopi's trailer on the set of Karina Karina. I was crying and I told her I needed to get Ricky, someone I was dating and had allowed to move in with me, out of my house. And I didn't know how. The next day was per diem day. I went to Whoopi's trailer to rehearse the scene and saw $2,000 cash sitting on her coffee table. I said, girl, why you got all this money sitting around? I'm going to steal this shit. She said, you don't have to steal it. It's yours. I said, what? Girl, I don't. She said, take that $2,000 and out of your house before it costs you $2 million like it did me. I had been sleeping on a futon and was looking forward to new, more grown-up furniture. My cousin Ronnie came from Kenlock to help me get the place together. I went antiquing with Whoopi and Santa Barbara. We saw a sofa I admired. The next day it was delivered to my house. A gift from Whoopi. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard but you are.